Hey, this is Erica, and I'm going to be um, explaining the features of the cardiovascular system. I just need a second to get set up because my printer decided not to work today. Okay. Alright. So to start it all off, um, your blood starts by flowing through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. So the superior just means that it comes from the upper half of the body, it's deoxygenated, it flows into the right atrium. Inferior means it comes from the lower half, it's the same thing, deoxygenated into the right atrium. So then, like I said, we go to the right atrium, which then pumps the blood through the tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve is a three, um, sorry, three leaflet um, valve that prevents backflow into the right atrium. So it flows through the tricuspid valve into the, oops, ignore that, into the right ventricle. The right ventricle then uh, pumps the oxygen poor blood through the left and right pulmonary arteries. Let's see if we can find those. So those are represented here right beside the little arrows. It's hard to show on a computer. Um, but it, it's pumped via the pulmonary valve. So it flows from the pulmonary arteries into the lungs. The lungs aren't shown on here, but the lungs, um, they take the deoxygenated blood and oxygenate it, oxygenate it from the air, um, and, which enters the red blood cells. And then it also gets rid of CO2 when exhaling, so the lungs just oxygenate blood. So it flows from the lungs into the oh, sorry, into, sorry, via the pulmonary veins, which the pulmonary veins, like I said, just take the blood from the lungs into the left atrium, which is right here. Um, from the left atrium, it flows to the uh, through the mitral valve, which is right here. It's another valve. It's also known as the bicuspid valve, which means that there's just two little cuspids on there, cusps on there, um, and it just prevents backflow as well, but it's found on the left side of the heart instead of the right. So it flows through the mitral valve into the left ventricle, which then in turn flows into the body. So that is the flow through the heart. There's some more though. Um, we also have the uh, right and left pulmonary arteries. So the right and left pulmonary arteries take the deoxygenated blood um, and put them into the corresponding lungs, so the right and left lung um, via the right ventricle. So and then the right and left pulmonary veins takes the oxygenated blood, blood, sorry, oxygenated blood from the lungs into the left atrium. So though that's that. Um, these are also you can also see the lungs sitting here in the background and kind of how they work. Um, the arteries are represented in blue right here. The pulmonary arteries and the veins are represented in red. And then we also have the uh, the arterioles, which are um, the smaller vessels from the arteries, so it takes the um, it takes the blood from the capillary sites, which the capillaries are right here, which are just branching blood vessels. They all connect. Um, they're assist like they're a place for gas exchange in the lung. Sorry, um, but it's just smaller vessels from the arteries that takes the blood. And then you have your venules, which is the same as arteries in, uh, in term, I guess. Uh, they're small veins that collect blood from the capillaries as well and flow into the veins. Um, so your veins are your tubes carrying deoxygenated blood. So it's actually the opposite from your pulmonary veins because your pulmonary veins are oxygenated. And your arteries carry the oxygenated blood into the body, which is the opposite from your pulmonary artery, which carries your deoxygenated blood. So, yep, that is, I believe, oh, 
and I forgot one other thing, which is your semilunar valves. So your semilunar valves um, actually aren't shown on this diagram, I don't think. But your um, semilunar valves are going to be your pulmonary valve and your aortic valve. Um, your aortic valve sits in between your left ventricle, which is right here, and your aorta. And your um, pulmonary valve sits in between your right ventricle and your pulmonary artery arteries. And I believe that is it.